after a couple of my fingers got broke, I got wise to it. And even though they would break the finger because I would still have the choke, I would finish the choke. So bad on them. I mean, I had broken fingers, but I won the fight. So what we're going over today is some illegal submissions that you can't use in the UFC. So I've been competing. I've been fighting. My first pro fight was UFC 5. And my last pro fight was last year. And I have no intention of retiring. So I'm going to keep fighting. But back in the day, when I first started in UFC 5, there was no rules, no time limits, no rounds. You just got in the cage. I don't even know why they had they had a referee, to be honest with you. So, but one of the, well, I'm going to go over two of the submissions you could use back then that you can no longer use. Maybe three, but two for sure. Maybe I'll, I'll make it an extra clip and, and throw that uh, that third one in there. But now, the first submission we're going to go over that you can no longer do, I'm going to give you a hint on this one. All of my fingers have been broken and one of my thumbs. So once again, all these fingers have been, if you, can, if you can't tell, they've been broken multiple times uh, different ways. Okay. And then this thumb's been broken. So with that said, one of the first submissions you cannot do back in the day that you could do. Can I buy you for a second, big boy? Now, say for example, um, big boy here gets me stuck in, in the, uh, in the hangman front choke, guillotine, guillotine, however you want to pronounce it. Lately, I've been just calling it hangman because if somebody new comes in and they don't know what a, what a name of a choke is or something. If you say hangman, they kind of got an idea of, oh, it's a choke, some sort of it. So now say, for example, I try to get this big guy down, whether it's off of a body lock or a double leg or a single leg. Now here's one thing that a lot of people don't understand. Wrestling is by far the most dominant combat sport there is. If you notice all the top UFC champions, are most of the time wrestlers, okay? You need to know wrestling. You need to know everything if you're gonna, if you plan on competing to fight uh, in MMA. And even if not, if it's just self-defense or if you're going to a BJJ school or a submission school, whether it's with the gi, without gi, do you agree you need to know takedowns? Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> so we just went over, I think that video should be up by now, of the double leg takedown. You have to know that double leg takedown to get somebody to the ground. You can be a black belt on the ground, but if you don't know how to get somebody down there and they're not gonna take you down, say if you're a black belt, but you don't know wrestling and your hands really aren't that good, which is a lot of the case, a lot of the times, you're gonna have a rough day. So say for example, if I'm a black belt in jujitsu, which I am, but I don't know wrestling and I don't know how to box, and he knows how to box really well, and his wrestling is just subpar, okay? So we're gonna sit there, and he's just gonna keep punching me in the face the whole time, and if I don't know a takedown, I, I can't take him down, especially if he's bigger than me, so your face is just gonna get beat up. So let's back this up. Now, say the case we're fighting, or just even training, oh no, we have fighting. So back in UFC 5, this would happen, or when in that era when I was fighting, I would take somebody down, um, or go to, and I would get stuck in this choke or vice versa, so from here, okay? So we're gonna flip the script, we're going to flip the, the script right now. So Justin takes me down, boom. Now here's what would happen, I'd love doing front chokes, okay, it worked really well. Now, for the most part on a front choke, that's just not what the video is, you cannot finish that guillotine with the arm inside, okay? It's uncomfortable for this guy, but you cannot finish it, okay? There's a 10 finger, I have another setup where you can finish somebody, which I'll make that. If you guys are interested in learning a 10 finger uh, choke, a different way to choke somebody when they defend it, I'll show it to you. But if you drop it in the comments that you want to see that other choke, you want to help me make a video? We'll make another video of how to put somebody to sleep with that. Because that's one of the defensive. Say if I get him here and I have it legit and he sticks that arm through, I don't have that choke anymore. I mean, I'm controlling him, but that choke goes out the window. So I can show you a different way how to, without letting go, because if I let go, he's going to bounce. So here's what would happen. Now, say for example, I would get this guy in this front choke, have it dead to rights. What he would do is grab one of my fingers and snap it. It didn't matter which finger, okay? It could be the close finger, far finger. All you need to do is grab one finger. And it's the same thing. If you get a, a carrot and snap it, it's the same thing. And if you go sideways, boom, it's, it really does snap real easy. You can get it. I've had them broken like all over, you know? They're all jacked up. Most of the time, they're going to break at the knuckle, okay? So what would happen there? Once again, he would shoot. I would stick this. He would break my finger. Bang. Now, back in the day before I got used to people breaking my fingers, I would let go of the choke and then he would get out. And I'm like, what the heck? So after a couple of my fingers got broke, I got wise to it. And even though they would break the finger because I would still have the choke, I would finish the choke. So bad on them. I mean, I had broken fingers, but I won the fight. Now, obviously back in the day, you could do that. 
Now, I don't remember what UFC they, they flipped it on. And now if you want to grab somebody's fingers, it's got to be three fingers or more. Okay, so it's less likely, way less likely to get your fingers broken. So if he has that and he grabs three fingers, which whatever hand, most of the time, because people aren't used to getting their fingers broken, are going to let go of the, the choke. Boom, and then he can get out. Okay, so it went from you could grab one and snap them to now you have to grab three. That was one of the submissions we're talking about that is illegal right now in the UFC. Now, so this is a part two to the one I was gonna make a part one of the legal submissions from back in the day that you can no longer do in the UFC. So YouTube gave me a call and said that I'm not saying hit the subscribe or the follow button, all right? Or the like button, okay? so. We're going to break these two videos up, part one, part two. So you just hopefully watch part one, just finished it. Now we're going to go to part two, but we're going to cut it and break it off like that. So with part one, if you have any questions, comments, or stories, whether it's pre UFC 10, anything like that, when they used to have no rules, no time limits, all that kind of stuff, put it, please put it in the comments below and we'll make another video and smash it out. But this is part one and part two is coming there or possibly there. But you know what? It will probably be there. So frighten out if you didn't know, now you know.